On the outskirts of New York City, in a quiet neighborhood, sits an abandoned 19,000 square foot mega mansion worth $8.8 .8 million. The mansion was last occupied around 2019 after the previous owner was arrested for tax evasion. And if that isn't shocking enough, it is rumored to have ties to the Mafia. With that being said, Stay tuned to find out what else the story holds behind this extravagant estate. What's up everybody, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another video. Today, we are exploring this mega mansion that's been abandoned for quite some time. This place is 19,000 square feet, indoor pool, library, movie theater, everything you can imagine having in a mansion right here. The guys, it's a beautiful day today. I can't wait to take you guys around this place. I'm with KT Spoilers. Check them out down in the description. But first, let's take a look at this beautiful property. We have a lake behind us with a bridge that goes to a little island on its own little lake for this specific mansion. This is one of the craziest properties we've ever seen. So. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the outside, then let's hear the story behind this mansion. Let's go. All right, guys, we're actually coming up through the back here. Beautiful walkway all the way to the back porch. Check it out. Beautiful mega mansion. We have the indoor pool right in there. This place is beautiful beyond belief. Look at this little walkway here. Isn't that incredible? This place is huge, absolutely massive. You can see all the tiles is actually lifting up. Got the balconies for the main bedroom up there. Check this out. Guys, this was actually an outdoor kitchen. So they had a big island right here. You have your ovens, everything like that. Big outdoor kitchen area right here. And honestly, I've seen some outdoor kitchens in my life. And this is the biggest one yet. This is bigger than your traditional kitchen in any house. This is so nice. Now you're gonna see a lot more of this on drone because there's a lot of trees and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take you guys down to the lake, its own private lake with a uh, bridge. We're gonna take you down there and then we'll fly up the drone and get into the whole story so you guys can see a real overview of what this place looks like. Cause I just can't show so much on the camera from the ground. You see I'm just walking. Like, and this is like your property. Like this is what, you live with, you live on this property. Funny thing too is Chris and I came out here almost two years ago with our buddy Trevor and we actually found a deer that had been hurt and I think it's gone now, but it was somewhere over on that side. And, uh, but yeah, this is such a gorgeous property. <laughs> this is insane, dude. All right, let's go check out this bridge we have over here. You can see it's all overgrown. And it's like there's trails. I imagine they might have even stocked the pond at one point. They even have like a little dock. Yeah, it probably has fish in it right now. There's even uh, fountains because it used to they used to spray fountains out here. Like this was a very very uh, fancy property. You can see there's the dock. They probably had little pedal boats that you could go out on. Look how overgrown it is. So neglected. This is the dock. I imagine the water was a little bit higher than it is now. But yeah, I bet there's fish in here too. But you can see the little spout sticking up for the fountain, probably more over there on that side. This thing goes all the way back there. And of course the bridge. We should try to get on the island. Yeah, let's try. Let's try to get on the island. Guys, imagine owning a 19,000 square foot mega mansion with your private pond in the backyard with a bridge that goes to a little island. <laughs> I'd be hanging out on the island all the time. I'd honestly build like a little like house on it just to hang out in. 
It's so amazing, this property. And we're on like the backside, which is extra, extra overgrown. And this stuff is like not cheap either. This walkway that they made throughout this whole thing, not cheap at all. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful. <laughs> now, I don't know how sturdy this bridge is actually gonna be. Oh, dude, we're not crossing that thing. Yeah, we are not, I'm not taking my chances on that. But that goes to the little island. You guys can see the mansion right over there. I can't believe this is here, this is nuts. Well, let's fly up the drone and let's see what we have in this mansion. Let's hear the story behind it. This place is crazy, the story is crazy. I cannot wait to take you guys inside. Shout out to Chris again for bringing me here. We tried to do this so long ago, like I said before. So I'm glad we're doing it better late than never. You know what I mean? So without further ado, let's hear the story behind this mansion and then let's go inside. In today's episode, we take a look at an abandoned $8.8 .8 million mega mansion, rumored to be connected to the Mafia. Going back to 1998, a businessman who owned a plumbing company was facing allegations for being involved in a murder of one of his employees. The employee had a major falling out with the owner of the company and accused the owner of blackballing him so he threatened to go to the IRS and out his former employer for improprieties within the company. Not long after, the former employee was confronted by several men in the streets of New York who beat him up. After this, he went back to his former employer's shop and threatened once again, then smashed all the windows of his ex-boss's car. Finally, in January 1999, the man disappeared. Police found him stuffed in the trunk of his car with two bullet holes in his head. But police somehow could never connect the employer to the murder, leaving the case unsolved to this very day. Fast forward to 2019, the man and his business partner were getting into more trouble. They apparently evaded over $10 million in taxes claiming their lavish lifestyle and vacations as business expenses. This would eventually catch up to them and land them behind bars, leaving the massive estate abandoned. So join me today and let's see what's left. All right, everybody, we have made it inside of this beautiful, mega mansion and as you can see i'm coming down the stairs right now absolutely incredible but i'm going to show you guys all this here in just a minute so you guys heard the story now we're inside now we're going to see what's left behind in this beautiful mega mansion so without further ado let's get right into it all right everyone now that we're inside i'm going to start you guys off in the front door we're going to work our way around this whole section go upstairs downstairs obviously you guys already saw the outside what an incredible place 19,000 square feet. This is by definition a mega mansion. So I'm ready to show you guys this place. There's some crazy features in here, but without further ado, let's get right into this exploration. So starting off at the front door, guys, there is these lion etchings in the glass door and directly above. This place is no shortage of artwork. So it was owned by an Italian guy and you can tell throughout the house it's very Italian because there are murals all over the place and it's very beautifully decorated. When we first walk in, this is what you're seeing. There was one huge chandelier that would hang down right over there. All of your furniture would be in here. So this is like your more formal living space. And then you have your main living space right over there. Check out this place. This is huge. And we believe it's just going to be torn down. You can see the really high ceilings right here. I believe these are 20 to 30 foot ceilings. You have the recessed lighting and you have the accent lighting in the lip up there. And you have this built in shelving place, which is absolutely tall. It goes all the way almost to the ceiling and the mirrors in the background of it with pillars at that. So I believe this was maybe like a little wet bar. How incredible is it? You had a fireplace that goes both ways to that side. I know you guys can already see the crazy colored ceilings in there and the gorgeous staircase, which you saw me walk down just a minute ago. So throughout this place is marble flooring and hardwood floor. So all this is marble. We also have like a little bit of a design in the floor right here. Some rugs left behind, a little bit of furniture is left behind, but not too much, but just enough to make this place really cool. I mean, even if it was all empty, this place would be super spectacular. Now they haven't cut the power yet, but they will soon. 
because they are going to tear this place down. Now let's go look at this staircase. Beautiful spiral staircase. And check it out. It's got the iron with the flowers going all the way up. This reminds me of another mega mansion that we did maybe a year ago. I'll link that right above. How incredible is that? Now, one thing that really stands out to me with this staircase is that right there. So that's what really tells me how Italian this is. That is beautiful. We'll get to see it a little bit closer when we go upstairs, but just check it out. That's insane. And it looks like it's uh, got like carved like uh, flowers and stuff up there. This place is absolutely incredible. And this is one of the more grand staircases I've seen in quite a while. You guys can see beautiful lighting going all the way up with the, the big windows. And you can see more of the railing that matches it right up there. I mean, this just looks luxurious. So when you first walk in too, there's a little room over here to your left, which looks like a little bathroom here. And then back in this area is like a storage closet. There's some crutches, some wrapping paper, some chairs, and like a boot back in here. And you can see just the sheer size of this room alone. Let's go ahead and let's move over to the room right here. This was the dining room of the house. Really nice marble flooring in here with the little design going here. There was a really, really big dining room table here, which I'll throw in more pictures. There was a chandelier hanging here with this beautiful uh, medallion right here. Can you imagine what the chandelier would have looked like being in here? What a gorgeous home. Here's actually a photo of the family. I'm gonna have to blur them out, but that's actually a photo of the family that lived here in the backyard. And we still have like a lot of photos. These are like older photos, the black and whites. A bunch of family photos down here. We even got old Polaroids and there's no telling what's just stuffed in these boxes here. It's all just gonna be left and thrown away. But we have a ton of family photos throughout all right here, like check it out, family photo albums. And this furniture that's left in here is quite amazing. Like look at the designs on this. And this is just gonna go with the house. Like they're not even gonna sell it or anything. It's like the veal for when you get married, still sitting here. It makes me wonder where the dress is. But even in the dining room, check out this. All along the ceiling, no shortage of detail added into this place. And like I said, there was a big, dining room table sitting right in the middle of the floor here with a beautiful chandelier and other pieces of furniture that were throughout this. Now I'm going to take you into the main living space where you would actually hang out, watch TV, all that kind of stuff. Now you guys are going to be blown away when you see this. Check it out. Incredible. The ceilings in here are just so crazy. And you even got a whole nother mural right there. It looks like uh, a restaurant, some people playing music, all that kind of stuff. But the ceiling is just this crazy like cloud looking thing, but multicolored. The only thing similar to this is that one house that we did that had the iridescent ceilings. Obviously this house is much more grand 
Same sort of kind of like staircase up there, like the railings and stuff, but this house is much more grand and much larger. Even have one little chandelier still hanging up right here. Can you imagine living in this? So you can see some outlines of some things here, which it looks like there's, there's a lot of wiring and stuff. I'm not sure what that would have been for. And there's even like a little faucet thing here. So I wonder if they had like a fountain or something right here. If you guys would know, let me know down in the comments. I'll try to figure it out. But when I was seeing pictures, I didn't really see a picture of this room to tell what was in here. But that gives off like a fountain vibe. But it's like on both sides. You can tell they would have had a TV hanging up right there. There's even like a girl that's like dancing and stuff. The paintings in here are just beautiful. The fireplace, like I said, goes both ways. It's actually a gas fireplace. And I also noticed like these pillars here on like all sides have like this cool design. And there was probably like a little wet bar there. You can see the grapes, the, vin the vines going all along here. I think this place actually used to be a vineyard back in the 90s when it was first built. Check it out, check out the grapes going all along this. And something tells me this was like a wet bar or something because you got this nice marble or granite backsplash, backsplash and then you got this here, which would have been, you know, a cabinet space, probably a sink, stuff like that. And everything kind of just leads into each other. So like your formal leads into this. And my gosh, we just have to look at that ceiling again. That's crazy. There is one room back this way that is one of the coolest rooms I've ever seen in an abandoned mansion ever of all my days exploring abandoned mansions. That room over there is so cool and I can't wait to show you, but I'm gonna take you on this side first. Save the good one for, not last, because there's still a lot to see, but the last part of this, I'm gonna take you over there. So let's look on this side real quick. Again, just take a look at this mural. We'll get a little better look at it when we're upstairs too. But this was actually the kitchen. And this is why I'm saying like, they're gonna tear it down. Like this kitchen was actually beautiful at one point. It had two islands, had a really nice stove, um, everything you could imagine for a kitchen. It was like the perfect kitchen and they ripped everything out. And this is why I know they're gonna tear it down because it was perfectly fine. It had actually been remodeled at one point. So the kitchen was perfect. And it looks like they've left a lot of little knickknacks all through this even some pots and pans and cereal, all these shelves. Look at that. Now guys, there is an indoor pool right there. So we'll go down there here in just a little bit, but we're still in the kitchen. Your big fridge would have been right here. This was one of those giant fridges that go in mansions. You guys know we've been seeing those lately. Look at the backsplash. This is where all the stoves would have been. This was like a chef's kitchen in here and they completely gutted it off the kitchen. This is like a pantry area. Yeah, this was their pantry. See a little bit of things left, but not much. It's mostly just trash and the pantry actually goes all the way back here too. You can see there's just stuff kind of scattered all about in here. Not much going on now. I'm showing you this part first because it's a little bit more gutted. Uh, this would have had another sink here. I'm not really sure what this room would have been used for exactly. And then all of this is gutted, which I'm not sure what that would have been either, but there's a drain right there and over there. So, I mean, this could have been like washroom or something of that sort, but like I said, it's hard to tell because it is gutted right there. But this is like the most of the gutting that they did before they tear it down completely. Now right here, we're gonna go into, I believe our first bedroom of the house. So this is our first bedroom. It actually has two little rooms. So there's like a bunch of stuff left in here. I can't really tell what it all is. Looks like some clothes, some books. It's hard to really tell. Pets, toys, they did have a dog, but check it out. This is just one half of this, of this bedroom here. This bedroom is like one of those double bedrooms. So. This is part of the room. 
your fireplace in here entertainment system would have gone right here. One little closet back on that side. And then we come into the main part of this bedroom and it's actually like a yellow striped room. Pretty cool. And I usually see this kind of design in like uh, in 90s houses like this. Some older houses too. But as far as mansions go, I see this a lot in like 90s houses. And you can see we actually have a TV still left in this room. Obviously closet, not too large of a closet in here. I mean, it's pretty big, but not like a walk-in closet. I imagine the bed probably was right there. And this room probably looked really immaculate. Um, I love the stripes in here. It's really cool. We have the recessed lighting all in here. Just a beautiful bedroom. And obviously where you're gonna have a bedroom, you're gonna have a bathroom. So I believe the power is still gonna work in here. Yeah. So power still works in here. Really nice sinks, look at this. It's a really nice sink. Beautiful shower. Everything's been like kind of winterized in here. What a beautiful home. Tall ceilings in here too. Probably like 10 foot ceilings in this bathroom. Decent sized bathroom to say the least. Even little mosaic tiles all along here. We're gonna go to our right. We're gonna go farther down this way, which I believe there's another bedroom right here. Maybe it's not a bedroom. Lights don't work in this room. So this looks like an actual secondary little kitchen area, kitchenette or whatever you might call it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you know what this is for. This is like your secondary kitchen. I believe this may also be a washroom. I think your dryer went there. Um, looks like they had a doggy door here. Got the nice stove two ovens, sink, all this counter space and cabinet space. Not too shabby if you ask me. The two ovens is nice. You see that a lot in these mansions, these big mansions. They removed the fridges though, so I can't see the fridges. Okay, it's time that I take you to the really, really cool room. So I'm so excited to show you this because this is one of the coolest things I've seen. It's like a dining room slash entertainment room. It's kind of like a game room almost. They had a big table in here for guests and stuff, but they also had many things for entertaining in this room, which I'll try to find a picture of it, but we're gonna show you. It's so amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's walk in there and let's see. So I'm walking in now and you can already get a little glimpse. Check it out. How incredible is this? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have a coffered ceiling right here with all the recessed lighting. It's gold and blue. Then you have this like whole scene, like you got the horse and chariot, several of them. You have like people fighting and you have animals. You have a temple, you have a horse, a guy wielding a sword, royalty. This is incredible, guys. Like, check this out. This little scene right here is like a royalty scene. Like, they put so much work into this and so much design. And look, they even like made the pillars go right there. Now, I believe there was a table sitting right here and then a lot of entertainment stuff all around. So this was like, almost like a ballroom, I wanna say. They made this place look incredible, guys. And even the walls, like it's stone. So it's like, uh, I don't know what, it almost looks like marble, but it's brown. It's some kind of stone walls all the way around. Granite or something. And then you get balconies on this one right here. And I know you guys seen, we have our own private lake here too. Um, this place is just incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible. Like, I can't get over this room right now. The ceiling is just, <sighs> never seen anything like it ever, besides like Italy or something. But in a, med in a mega mansion this size, like, my goodness. 
I'm trying to like picture what everything is in here. I didn't see pictures of this one online. Also has a gas fireplace up in here. Two doors to go to a balcony. And you can tell this is for where a table would have went because you know, it's kind of squared off. Just an incredible place, guys. And we could have been in here over two years ago, but, or almost two years ago, better late than never. Guys, that's probably my favorite room in the house so far, but I have not been upstairs yet, so I, I couldn't tell you. Um, there is an elevator over here that I'm about to show you. And then we're gonna go upstairs, check out all that. And then we'll go downstairs, see the indoor pool, theater, all that. This, this mansion has everything, everything. <laughs> so right next to the really cool room, there is a bathroom. Just a little half bath, nothing much going on here. Kind of a cool ceiling they got. It's kind of like an illusion with the wallpaper. Marble floors, marble walls. And then even a closet right here, which actually has some like dresses and whatnot still in here. All right, coming back out here. Just beautiful. Now we're gonna go to our right. We're gonna see a couple of bedrooms that we got down here. So this is actually the elevator. Um, can't open it, but. <laughs> I press it. And it's just like. <laughs> so maybe we'll find where the elevator actually opens up at. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is a bedroom because you have a bedroom right here and then a bedroom down there. I think this is like a common area for these two bedrooms. Um, I can't really tell you what was in here. There's a ton of boxes in here. Let's say Prestige, uh, Premium Like Lifelike Christmas Tree. This is just Christmas trees. These are all Christmas trees, they're everywhere. <laughs> There's like a hundred Christmas trees right here. What the heck? That's crazy. <laughs> Let's go into our first room. Right here. You can see there's a bunch of stuff on the floor and the light's still on right there. Beautiful chandelier and a big tray ceiling there. I love it. Some of the wallpaper was ripped off unless they had some sort of shelving there instead. But the shelving or the wallpaper is supposed to look like a stone in here. But then there's all this stuff on the floor and um, I'm not sure what it all is. This is like a little Glass ball, that's cool. Dog toy, Kleenexes, I mean there's clothes here. Um, nothing too crazy looking, there's a pillow pet. Me and my girlfriend were just talking about pillow pets the other day, that's crazy. We got Swarovski diamonds. You know, it's just like, some of it, it looks like a lot of it's just trash. There's a blanket here. Um, some other stuff, we're not gonna just dig through it all. So there was a lot of stuff that was left behind. In this room, the lights are just turned on, so. But it looks like there's a bathroom and a, clo and a big closet here, so this is our closet. They've ripped all the, sh all like the shelves and stuff off inside of the closet here. The bathroom to this room is right here. So, looks like there was maybe a door or maybe even like a rod right there at some point, but it's not there anymore. Toilet's been winterized. That's actually a pretty nice sink. Not a bad little bathroom for this bedroom. Door is gone. Incredible, guys. Let's go over to our next bedroom over here. So this bedroom is a lot larger. Um, this is not the master, though. The master bedroom is upstairs, but this is probably one of the other primary suites. Um, this has a big tray ceiling going all the way across. Same little design as the yellow striped bedroom on the other side of the house. But this one has a flowered wallpaper all throughout and the flooring is super nice in here. Got flowers going all along the sides here with nice hardwood floors. And all of this stuff is actually Christmas stuff. Um, these tubs are full of ornaments. As you can tell, they had 500 Christmas trees in this house. But something we noticed earlier is we picked the stocking up, it says Sophia, and inside of it was this dog bone. So the dog never got its toy at Christmas. That's so sad. I just wanna cry, and their dog was so cute. And like in here is just more ornaments and things like that. All of this, all these tubs are just ornaments. See, there's so many Christmas decorations. There's a tree over there, 
ornaments everywhere. I mean, they probably had a massive tree sitting in this house around Christmas. This is a big bedroom too, really, really big bedroom. This bedroom alone is bigger than my entire living room and kitchen put together. <laughs> and it's not even the master bedroom, so it only tells you how the master bedroom is gonna be. We have another bathroom right here. The sink has been taken out, actually. Toilet's still here and the shower's still here, but the sink and stuff has been removed. Nice marble floors, really cool windows. I can only imagine how this place was back in the 90s with all the views of land that they were on, stuff like that. I mean, this is just gorgeous. I love this house. Okay, now time to go upstairs and see what's up there. I have not been up there yet, so it's all gonna be a new surprise to me. And I have not even been downstairs yet. So this is the only floor I've actually walked on before I started filming. So everything's gonna be a raw reaction. So I can't wait to take you guys up there. Let's go see what's left up there. All right, walking up the steps now. Okay, now that I've made it upstairs, I wanna give you a really good look at the mural. Check it out. It's like a man and a woman laying in like a field. Very like Adam and Eve feeling. Then you get the beautiful staircase. Let me check it out. Imagine living in something like this. These stairs were probably not used that often because they probably used the elevator. <laughs> so when you first arrive upstairs, you got this railing and these same little pillars that were downstairs going all throughout. So you got this pattern right here in the wood, almost looks like the Star of David or something. And this actually gives you a nice little view of the downstairs. Check out how big this house is. Can you imagine living in something this huge? It'd be too big for me. They even put like flowers and stuff up there. All the lights are on still. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> Oh, no way. <laughs> the pillars have lights in them. That's sick. That's crazy. I wonder when they're going to cut the power. It's got to be soon, I feel like. But this is like the first thing you see. I can imagine they probably had like... Right here, they probably wanted to show this off. Oh, no way. Dude, I didn't see it. The light actually turns on right there, too. I mean, it makes sense. There's probably lights in all the lipping mm -hmm. of this. I can imagine they probably had a table right here, maybe some chairs or something. More furniture all throughout this part of the house. But now we actually get to see what this part looks like from up here. Look at that. The ceiling just looks so nutty. And I mean, this is huge right here. This like whole area is giant. Okay, good look at that mural again. I love the ceiling in here. Can you imagine like with all the lights on and everything and like, furniture and everything, what this would look like. This would have looked incredible, guys. I wonder if this was all done by the same person, but this looks like a different type of painting than the rest of it. Let's go this way. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look, it's almost like a, what do you call those guys? It looks like a devil of some sort. That's insane. Got a woman right there. Wow, that's incredible. Marble flooring when you walk in here. Big room right here, which I believe this is probably gonna be the master bedroom. Yeah, it is. I'll show you guys that here in just a second. This is all, I think, the master. Yeah, because here's the master bathroom. So your sink would have been right here, probably a double vanity of some sort. This is crazy. And the tub I'm seeing right there, I know you guys can see it too. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh my. Like, I'm freaking out. Look at this. Marble flooring leads all the way in here. And the same thing as the staircase. A gorgeous mural above the bathtub. And this is a huge bathtub, too. Oh, my God. What the heck? The shower. 
Now, there actually used to be, um, I didn't know it was this big. The shower is huge. This is a his and her shower. So the head on both sides and it goes all the way through to the other side. This shower is crazy. Look at the, look at the stone. Like what kind of stone is that? Like I've never seen it look like that before. But what I was saying is the, the doors for this actually used to have an etching of a mermaid on it. Um, just kind of like how downstairs the front doors had an etching of, uh, of lions and stuff. It was like that. This is the biggest shower I've ever seen in the house. <laughs> you could fit a twin bed in the shower. <laughs> like it's huge. What the heck? <laughs> and then the tub itself. You could fit four people in it. That big. But what's dangerous about these is like when you get out, like you could easily slip. Oh, and Chris got the lights on in here. <laughs> Bro. Oh, it looks insane, dude. Got the toilet and the bidet. I don't like those kind of bidets though. Like I've said in other videos, I like the ones that are attached. They kind of like spray you where you don't have to like hover. But wow, guys, this is incredible, this bathroom. This is only part of the bathroom too. This isn't all of it. That's crazy. Look, all the tiles have like this nice little design on it on the steps. Blown away by this bathroom just alone, dude. And this shower is, like I said, it's massive. Dude. You can fit a twin bed in this shower. Come back to this side. This is probably the guy's side right here. Um, it looks like there may even been a, well, it's probably a sink. I was thinking there might've been a tub here too, but nah, probably just a sink for him. Toilet for him too. And this would have been the closet. And check it out, there's actually a huge safe here. A giant safe. Like this is probably, yeah, that's heavy, heavy duty. It's a jewel vault. Nothing left in it though, unfortunately. Big old closet, not as big as I expected, but it is a big closet. I mean, this is bigger than a bedroom, your typical size bedroom in a house. Love that safe though, it's giant. <laughs> It's actually got a granite countertop on the, on the safe. <laughs> like what the heck? The colors of the shower are just nutty. It's like so blue and purple. So this was like just all the master right here. Yeah, this is all master. Like wh what about here? I don't know what this is. Cause it like attaches to this bathroom. I wonder what they use this one for. Oh, this was their closet, bro. <laughs> Look, Yeah. all along. Oh, no way. This was their closet. That's ridiculous. So, yeah, you can see all the studs that were in here. This is where their closet was, bro. <laughs> can you imagine what's under all this stuff? This closet is five times the size of my bedroom. This closet is bigger than my, my living room. Like, <laughs> like, this closet's giant. Can you imagine what's all under this stuff, dude? Like, it looks like they kind of just had no regard for anything and just kind of threw it about. Like, a, I wonder what's thrown about in here. Luggages left behind. That's an old luggage, yeah. Wait, is this the wedding dress? No, it's for a Christmas tree. I saw a wedding veil downstairs. Oh yeah? Yeah. So we're not gonna dig through this stuff, but only can imagine what's under there. It could be some items under there that are crazy. Very old dentine ice. Dentine ice? Do they still make dentine? That, I, I don't know. I don't even think so. I don't see that anymore. There could be some cool stuff in there, but we're not going to dig through it because that's not what we do, guys. But this is their this is their closet. Like, that's crazy. I bet you they had an island right here, too. Insane. This is the biggest closet I've ever seen in a house. Okay, we left the closet. Now we're back in this room with this cool mural right here. Now I've noticed there's like this little slots in the wall on both sides of mirrors. Not really sure what that was for, to be honest. Now let's go take a look at the actual master bedroom. So this whole section of the house is literally the bedroom, you know, master bathroom, closet, all that stuff, this whole section here. Now, right here, check out the ceiling. It's like this blue kind of little iridescent with some green yellow room. This was their like living space for their bedroom. So some of these big mansions have a living area in their bedroom. So this is quite a large 
Like this whole section, just the master area of the house is bigger than my whole house, my entire house. Maybe even double the size of my whole house. This, this part is huge. Still have a TV left behind. That's an older TV at that. Um, we got the fireplace that goes both ways. Nice hardwood floors in here. But now let's check out the actual bedroom part. Wow, tray ceiling with this beautiful blue, purple, green, iridescent type color on the ceiling. Very large room with that too. I think there was a mirror or maybe even a mural right here, but the bed itself looked crazy. Of course, when you have a master bedroom upstairs with some land like this, I mean, check it out. That's what you got. You can see the bridge over the pond there. That just blows my mind. Your big old master bedroom here. You can see where like the security system was too and everything. It's all turned off. Got a little touch screen right here. So this, this part's more blue and this part's more purple. When you look at these two rooms right here. All right guys, Chris is gonna lead the way. Going downstairs now. Oh yeah, this place is definitely like infested during the, during the summer. Nice lighting on the stairs going down. No way, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this looks insane. Is that a mermaid in the middle of the pool? Dude, that is a mermaid. <laughs> this is a massive pool and that was a waterfall yeah. right there. Skylights coming in here too. Wonder what the caution tape's for. You think that was when they arrested the guy or yeah. maybe they're just trying to keep people from going into the pool or something or falling in or something like that? It's so weird. Dude, this pool looks crazy. The water is so stagnant too. <laughs> like, wow, this is one of the coolest indoor pools I've seen. It's a strange shape though. Yeah. I don't really get the shape of it. But you got the whole flower bed. All these flowers are fake, by the way. Um, so don't think anybody's water in these. These are all fake. They're plastic. You got the waterfall over there to where you can see the pool. This place is crazy. No hot tub though. No, no hot tub. No hot tub. Hmm. Still got the old TV, stone fireplace. This one looks like a wood burning, but it could be electric too. And this is just the pool room. That's insane, dude. Can you imagine coming in here like with all your buddies swimming in this? It's probably heated too, so you could swim any time of the year. I think that's why people get indoor pools so they can swim like all year round. Also in this pool room, we have this little like section over here, probably to wash up and stuff. There's uh, granite countertops. This is actually a fridge, a little mini fridge here. So when you're chilling with all your friends, you can get some drinks or whatnot. Got the cabinet space and this is just beautiful. Like the way they made this, this is an incredible pool room guys. Like I am really blown away by this pool room. This was probably a sauna, actually. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like they cleared it out. Yeah, but this was, figure out what it was. Yeah, this was a sauna. Saunas are typically pretty small like this. Mm -hmm. This was the sauna room of the, of the house, but they ripped all the walls off and everything. You can tell by the wood that's on the ground, that was a sauna in there. And this was probably to control all the settings of it. I don't see a washroom though for like when you're done like swimming or anything like that. But dude, this is just crazy. Diving board and everything. Oh, dude, the diving board is <laughs> like my favorite. How deep do you think it goes? It looks like it goes to about eight feet, yeah, eight or nine feet. Maybe eight, nine, 10 at most. Maybe 10, it could go down to 10. It's hard to tell because the water makes it look closer than it is. Yeah. And I'm not jumping in to find out either. So <laughs> get sick just by touching the water.
I knew this was down here, but I didn't know it was that close when we were gonna see. <laughs> I didn't know it was one of the first things we were gonna see. We still have a few more rooms, to, even a theater to check out down here. So um, we're gonna leave this room and we're gonna check out the rest of the downstairs. So we just left the pool room. Now we're gonna enter into the bathroom, which I believe this is actually where you got washed up after you get in the pool and stuff. Take your shower, get all the chlorine off of you. Got the toilet here. And this probably would have been an area to like kind of just dry off and stuff. Probably had a sink in here at one point. Mosaic tile all around. But Chris is gonna take me to the theater now. Oh yeah, it's got the same little deal going on in here. Crazy how all the lights are on. I know. So this is the theater? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Chris is gonna hit the lights. Wow. And you can hear it when you step in. There's no echo. Yeah, yeah. So this is actually soundproof all in here. Well, they have to have it. It's kind yeah. of soundproof. Walls. Padded walls, yeah. There's actually some white chairs, really luxurious chairs all along here. Your projector would go in this thing and you could see the details that they've painted in here. It looks, just, just looks beautiful. They have removed the screen, but it was a pretty big screen. And from the picture, it looked like there was like a jewelry case. A uh, concession stand. Conce <laughs> so they probably had like candy and stuff, like an yeah. actual movie theater here? Yeah, like, you know, snacks <laughs> and stuff. So when you came down to watch your movie, you'd pick a snack, get your drinks. That's crazy, bro. That would have been cool to see. Look, Aim had corn treats. Like, yeah, pop. it's that? stuff for popcorn, glazed oh, popcorn. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they probably had a popcorn machine back here that they used to make like a different flavors of ice cream. That says savory mix, nacho cheese. Yeah, right? <laughs> sour cream and chives. Like. Do you imagine sour cream and chives popcorn while you're watching <laughs> a movie in your own house? <laughs> this is crazy. And this is actually soft, this flooring. Mm -hmm. But there would have been speakers in these little slots here, but they have actually removed everything because this place is going to eventually be rubble. And smell it. Like, yeah. Uh, the, in the flooring whatever it yeah. is because i guess it got wet and whatnot yeah it looks like it got wet it smells funky in here. and then the projector looks like it would have been huge like i know you can't tell on camera guys but that hole in that thing is giant so they probably had some like very very expensive projector in here that probably shot like 4k or whatnot this is insane this is one of the cooler theaters i've seen even though it's ripped up yeah you can even tell what kind of carpet they had it's kind of right here it's just like kind of black and brown or black and gold. I think this is what they were going for. It's too bad they ripped it up. It would have looked so cool. Still does look cool anyways. We just left the theater room and we come down here and this is like a whole nother house down here. Here's where all of your HVAC, water heaters, stuff like that is down here. And it's a big room because you need this much stuff to power a house like this. And check it out. This is actually a picture of the house like it was in a vineyard or something. That's insane. They've painted the actual house in the house. And look, we, have, we even have more etchings. Right here, it's grapes. I think this place was a vineyard a long time ago. This is the wine cellar? Yeah. So this is the wine cellar. This actually used to have a bunch of uh, wood. You can see it echoes so much in here. There used to be a bunch of wood on all these walls. This is a pretty large room and it has this cool like arched way in here. And I think this is just adds on to it. Yeah, you can tell where all the shelves would have been. It's actually all temperature controlled in here too to make sure the wine doesn't go bad or anything like that. And that's why all the grapes are actually on all the windows here. And I think there was a barber shop in this house too because there's a barber chair <laughs> right here. But this is like a whole nother living area downstairs. And this is actually the backside of the house when it was lived in in the 90s. And you can see they've changed it so much. They modernized the heck out of it. 1998 was when that photo was. This looks like the office. Mm -hmm. Tons of books left behind. Lots of books left behind. And this is actually that lake outside. Being owned by somebody involved in the mafia, this almost, I almost want to pull the book and see if something opens. <laughs> I highly doubt something would open though. It doesn't even look like it in this room. But this room would have been the office. It's very beautiful wood. You guys can see the details right there. Even more books on this side. Encyclopedia Americana. There are so many fireplaces. They're all electric though, yeah. for the most part. More shelving, probably would have more books. 
If only there was some secret door or something. Right, there has to be like a secret stash somewhere. It feels like there would be a secret door here. <laughs> imagine. I can imagine that that actually was real. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is the this is the office of the guy that lived here. Very beautiful office. It's pretty large. I actually really like the style of this one. Typically, I don't like rooms that's all wood on the walls. But this one actually gives me a really good feel in here. So I, I like this this office. Definitely my favorite office in a mansion so far. I love all these books they left behind too. Large entertainment space. And I believe this is another bedroom, right? I think it's either a bedroom. Maybe this is where they had the salon. I don't know. This could have been. This could have been. I think this was probably the salon of the house. Actually, now that you say it. Those phones too. There's so many phones. Yeah, it's so weird. And this is the salon room where they had a person come and cut their own hair and things like that. Probably like a beauty room. The most bottom floor room. <laughs> they, they spared no expense here. Like they definitely spared no expense on this house. Check it out. This is just beautiful. Not much going on down here though. I think we just have the garage left and then that little section over there. Something is beeping down here. This is actually the elevator. Whoa. I'm not getting in there. <laughs> but that's the elevator. You actually close it like that. It's got a like a phone in it. One to two, one first and second floor. This is nuts. Don't see a whole lot of elevators in houses. Lately I have been, which is crazy. And then we have the garage, which is absolutely huge. I mean, this is more than just a five car garage because you could pull at least three cars in here, right here. You could fit three cars in each little slot here. So this, you could probably fit 15 cars in here if you wanted to, um, <laughs> which is actually, actually insane really large it's kind of hard to just kind of like tell what to do in here there's a lot of stuff left in here christmas trees you got shoes left behind kind of your typical household things that you see in garages nothing too crazy but it's a massive garage like absolutely massive garage looks like some of the cabinetry is down in here too you got some couches even down here but like i, like I said guys there's nothing too crazy in this garage did they probably had a Mercedes? They probably had a Ferrari. I mean, look how many cars you can fit in here. Dude, I know. This garage is bigger than my whole house. Like, <laughs> this garage is massive. We have one more little section of the house and then we're done. So let's go check it out and then we'll get out of here. So this is the only part that I haven't shown you guys yet. This is like the big living space down here in the basement. Um, big kitchen area with this, uh, granite countertop here, this black granite. I actually have a AC unit or a humidifier. Uh, Dehumidifier. Dehumidifier in here. It's turned on, which doesn't make much sense, but it's crazy to me that such nice things like this get left behind and then just get destroyed.
Guys, I said this in a recent video. I really do love old houses with everything left in them and the things like that. Those are more easy to understand why they're left behind. You know, they're falling apart, they're really old. People can't keep up with them anymore. It's these modern mansions that aren't very old that get left behind that really intrigue me because it's just, I, I have more questions, like why? And I'm just like shocked by the size of these places and the wasted potential and the wasted money. So that's why I really love doing these big modern mansions. That is the whole mansion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get out of here. Chris, we're gonna get out of here. We got some bangers coming on this trip. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Check out him down below. I will leave everything in the description. And until next time, big banks out.